Hello everyone, my name is Quadly and welcome to another video of the Systems of Warframe series. We all know Warframe has many of those unexplained mechanics that are never explained and are sometimes even unknown to veterans and especially players that come back after a long time, specifically this one. Today we're going to look at the Parazon system and the Parazon mods, the thing that was released soon after the Steel Path came out. If you do not know, the Parazon is used for mercy kills on the heavier enemies. When you can do a mercy kill, a little symbol will be above the enemies, which is very obvious. So the only thing you need to do is go to the enemy and press your interact button. That should kill the enemy. You can make a mercy kill after the enemy has reached 40% of its health or 60% for the corpus specifically, but you also can increase that chance by inflicting the impact status type on the enemy, so the max status stacks you can increase with impact is 10, leading to enemy being open to mercy kill at 80% and 100% for the corpus specifically. Sometimes when the enemy is either staggered, panicking because of the fire, or affected by freeze status, the enemy, even though it shows that you can mercy kill them, will just not have the option to be mercy killed. That is just, I think, a bug. Also, if you don't have any Warframes that can do finishers, the mercy kills also count as ones, but not the ones on Thralls and the Hounds. By yourself, you cannot use the Parazon as any melee weapon or... It is just there to equip three mods on it and also the Requiem mods. I already explained how the Requiem system works in another video, so in this one we will just look at all the Parazon mods that are out right now. Obviously we will also look at where to get the mods. Parazon mods are very interesting to use for all varieties of players. They support different playstyles and actually make the game fun sometimes. So let's start with the first one, Blood for Ammo. Blood for Ammo is a very common mod you can get from Forehead with 77% drop chance. What it does is quite simple, when you mercy kill an enemy, your primary and secondary ammo will refill to its max magazine capacity, so it is not the best. Blood for Energy is a super freaking rare Parazon mod with 1.7% drop chance from Ambulus Bursas, but not the ones at Hades boss fight. It is pretty simple, one mercy kill, there is a 50% chance the enemy will drop an energy orb. I think this one is totally useless since by the time you get this mod you will get far better energy regenerating options, but it's up to you. Blood for Life is obtainable from Counselor Vayhek with a 38% drop chance, so quite high. What it does is, well, 100% drop chance of a health orb on a mercy kill. Yeah, I myself would only put this one on if I had nothing else. Hit and Run has about 7% drop chance from every member of the Hyena pack you find on Neptune. It grants 60% parkour speed increase for 15 seconds after a mercy kill. Yeah, I don't know if it may be useful, but why not try it on Vault? Out of Sight has about 8% drop chance from Lieutenant Lech Krill on either Mars or Ceres. Its ability is sometimes unmissable. It blinds enemies in 18 meter radius from your mercy kill, making it an extremely good crowd control weapon. Intruder has about 2.5% drop chance from the Corrupted Bombards, Corrupted Heavy Gunners and Corrupted Nullifiers, which may seem like a low drop chance, but it is just not. The premise of this mod is simple, plus 8 seconds to your maximum hacking time. Quite nice if you ask me. Master Key has 10% drop chance from spy vaults on the planets Earth, Venus, Mercury, Mars and Phobos from the third vault. What it does is kind of useless. It unlocks 5 lockers around you in a 20 meter radius when you successfully hack a console. I really don't see a use for this because there is not many lockers around nowadays. Live Wire Mon has a 9% drop chance from the spy vaults on the planet Ceres, Jupiter, Europa and Saturn from the first vault, which shocks the enemies in a 20 meter radius around you, making you less dead while hacking. Auto Breach has a 7% drop chance from spy vaults on the planet Uranus, Neptune, Pluto and Sedna from the third vault. It is one of my favorite Parazon mods because it has 30% chance it will auto-hack any console, even the sorty ones when you need a cipher to insta-hack. Irreplaceable for me, really, I use it all the time. 
Untraceable has 7% drop chance from spy vaults on the Kuva Fortress from the third vault. It makes you go invisible after hacking for 15 seconds, which is actually perfect for doing spy missions, easy for you to avoid cameras and drones and stuff like that. Runtime has 7% drop chance also from the spy vaults on the Kuva Fortress from the third vault. It makes you 75% faster for 15 seconds after hacking a console. I usually don't sprint at all, but rather roll jump, so I don't see any uses for it, but you might. Failsafe has a humongous 38% drop chance from Lua Spy's third vault. What this mod does is actually quite good though. In case you fail the hacking attempt, you have a 50% chance of another attempt. This did actually save me some time at sorting missions because sometimes you miss the console and automatically fail the hack. Swift Mercy has about 17% drop chance from any Corpus Railjack spy mission from the first vault. What it does is quite simple, it increases the speed of mercy kills by 50%, so you will be 2 times faster. It is a nice mod to have. Firewall is a mod with 10% drop chance from any Corpus Railjack spy mission from the first vault. What it does is golden, really. It protects you while hacking with 75% damage reduction. It is a very nice mod. Power Drain has a 10% drop chance from any Corpus Railjack spy missions from the first vault and its effects are my favorite. Upon Mercy Kill, your next ability cast will have 50% more strength to it, like plus 50%. It makes some abilities on Warframes a taking time bomb or rather a slamming nuke. Hard Reset has about 7% drop chance from any Corpus Railjack spy mission from the first vault. It is extremely freaking nice if you love to play with sentinels or companions. If the companion or the sentinel dies, and we all know how much that happens, 3 mercy kills in under 40 seconds will revive it. This mod is extremely freaking useful, if you ask me. And now the last Parazon mod, Malicious Code, which has about 7% drop chance from any Corpus Railjack spy mission from the first vault. What it does is not that reliable though. It gives you a 50% chance the enemies in 50 meter radius will cower in fear upon a mercy kill. Not very useful, but sometimes still fine, especially in defense missions, if you're really desperate. But yeah, that is actually it. The Parazon mods I usually use are the Power Drain, Auto Breach and Intruder. But I am also curious what you guys use. So please comment down below which ones you like the most. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a nice day. Bye guys!